Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. I've been working on the Thunderbird. I got it running with the old float bowl and the old metering plate, but it doesn't run very well at all. I had to abandon a drive yesterday when it started playing up and I thought, mm, blimey, I'd rather just get back. So, I'm struggling to think what to do. Um, some parts arrived. These carb kits came in from Rock Auto. Pretty good actually, it was uh, only took about three or four days. Um, so I've got two carb kits and extra gaskets there and I actually found some carb kits on Amazon which I ordered they might come today or tomorrow so I'm okay for gaskets and things so I'm struggling a little bit my mistake was the thing that I did wrong was I didn't try to go for a drive with it as it was as I had last driven it with the newer float bowl and the newer metering block. So that was possibly my mistake because I'm not starting from ground zero. What I think I might do, since I've got plenty of gaskets, is take this off, take this off, put the power valve and the jets into the other metering block and put it all back together as it was when I last run it and when I did that start up from it sitting for a long time I'll put all those back together and take it for a, get it started take it for a run and see if I can go and get some fresh fuel in it if that makes a difference I know that you know it, it kind of hones it down to maybe something to do with this I don't see how this can be any problem as long as it's not leaking so if this isn't leaking and the level was right because you could see it was just 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 lapping at the bottom of the hole before um, it might be that the problem is there I might yeah so Leave it with me and I will strip it down again, get it back to how it was and give it another try and see where that takes me. Okay, righto, I'll bring you back when there's more to show. I cleaned up the metering block that I was using and fitted a new power valve a new gasket and the original float bowl let's just see how that goes that must be what just what was in the manifold which would tend to indicate that there was a lot of fuel in there Flooding. See that? Instantly flooding. Well, it flooding is nothing to do with the metering block. I think I'll. <laughs> I haven't done anything to the float bowl that was on it. I think I'll try putting that back on again. Get back to phase one. Okay. I won't show all that, I'll bring you back when there's more to show. Okay, I've got the lighter metering body and the float chamber on. I'm just going to turn it over, see if the fuel comes out of that vent. It might do because I've tried to set the float a little bit higher than it was. Oh, I don't know why I keep changing things. Let's just see what happens when I crank it.
very happy did it. Let's give it another go. Bear in mind it's cold. It is cold as well today. I can't quite reach. Well, it's not running on all cylinders, is it? It doesn't feel like it's running on that one. Oh dear. Well, this is like it was before. Where it did run okay. So, I wonder if... I wonder if um, when it ran really bad, when it was all flooding and everything, it's fouled the plugs, or the fact that the ignition hasn't really been looked at for a long time. I wonder if like the points are closing up or something like that. So I will leave the carb like this for now, and I will get all the plugs out. Clean the plugs and uh, see what I can see, and maybe clean the points, you know, things like that. Okay, righto. So I've gone round in a circle here, and it isn't like it was, so something has gone badly wrong in the meantime. Righto, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when there's more to show. Hello, we've got the plugs out, so this is number one, can't tell whether that's been running or not, I suspect not, this is number two, I think that one might have been running because the tip is a little bit burnt off, that tip's not burnt off so that one hasn't been running, that one was running this one probably not running this one I don't know probably not running hang on let's get look at the other side um that was number one two three four and this is five six seven eight I think I'm not sure actually it looked wet when I pulled it out yeah it does look wet doesn't it that one looks like it was running that one looks like it might have been running because it's at least it's dry and this one definitely was running that's number eight so I'll wash these and clean them and uh, look about putting them back in auto light auto light auto light 46 okay right -o. I think they were new they were new they were when we had the wedding about nine years ago okay I'll get them cleaned up then and um, shove them back in I suppose
not getting much reaction from the mixture screw on that side. That's all the way in. So there's fuel getting through, isn't there? Without, you know, without going through the idle circuit. They're both screwed right the way in. So that tells me something's wrong. It needs to be able to react to the idle circuit. And it isn't. It's worse with the idle screw open. Okay, well, at least when I bring the revs up, now it's warmed up a bit, it does sound like it's running on all the cylinders. leave it at that because you know I'm spending hours and hours and hours and it's just not making good video because you've got kind of going around in circles there's an internal leak isn't there and it's nothing to do with the secondary side there's no fuel on the secondary side okay I'll probably have it apart again and see try another iteration. Okay, I'll bring you back when I get to the next stage. Cheers then, bye. Hello, I'm continuing to work on the Thunderbird. Um, I've taken all this off and put it back on again with two gaskets there. Um, I tried to start it, it started briefly and then wouldn't start. Um, and I tested for a spark and there wasn't a spark so I've taken the points out and I've just had a look and I found this pair of points in the in the shed which I believe are the correct points these are the ones that were on these look a bit cheap this looks a little bit better so I'm going to try and fit these so You've seen people fit points before, so I'll, I'll put those on and I'll bring you back when there's more to show. I got the points and um, did a continuity check and there wasn't continuity. So just cleaning with a piece of um, wet and dry. And now that's open. That's closed. So worth checking that, even though they were brand new, they've been on the shelf for about nine years, so I can put those in now. Okay, back in a bit. Okay, I'll have to check the footage, but I think I made a bad mistake then. I think um, when I was looking for a spark, I think I disconnected the main wire at the coil rather than at the distributor. Anyway, let's see if it sparks now. I think that's ground there. That's a decent spark. Okay, righto. Let's see if it'll run then. Once fuel or has got has had too much fuel. I'm going to put the battery on charge and leave it. It's not going to go, is it? Okay, the battery's on charge, so I'll uh, I'll give it a go tomorrow. Hello. Um, it's the next day. Haven't done much today. I haven't done anything actually. It's not a very nice day. It's pretty rainy. I failed to start it last night, yesterday. I've left the battery on charge overnight. Haven't done anything with the plugs, but I have ordered some new plugs. Um, they'll be here, I don't know. 
at some point. Got to come from America. But I thought I'd just give it another try at starting. So let's put the camera in the mount just in case it does run. I put new points in. Actually, I've just remembered I've got a new rotor arm as well. I'll shove that in. I'll just try cranking it without doing anything. Try it with a squirt. Clean the plugs again as soon as I haven't got the new ones. It's a pain in it. Let's get the plugs cleaned again. They're all wet up the threads. They look wet up. That one at the end looks. This one looks wet up the middle. That one looks wet as well. I'll try giving them another clean. I, f I found some older ones. They're not all the same, and there's seven of them. But I'll put these in, and one of the ones that I've just took out. Let's see how we get on with these. Okay, let's see if it'll go now. It did that before, didn't it? Fired and then stopped. I think this battery is struggling a bit. Come on, what's the matter with you? When I wound the idle screw in there over the other side, it did slow down, so that means it is reacting to the idle screws.
okay. So it, there, there's like a throttle position at which it isn't very happy. Kind of just part open. It's quite happy at idle. But it, it, it appears um, to be running better than I have had it. I just wanted to get back to how it was to be honest. But I've got two gaskets there. Now this is exactly as it was before when it was running and it wasn't reacting to the idle screws. The only difference now is I've got two gaskets. This is how I've had it running for years with this float ball and this metering block. They're not the originals. It is getting a bit rough now. But one of the things about this is it has got old fuel in it. It hasn't got fresh fuel. Um, I'm not going to take it out today because it's yucky out there. But um, yeah, I, I need to get some fresh fuel in it, I think. And it needs a good drive. Having, having said that, the only thing I can do with this is drive it. There's no adjustments I can make other than the idle. It'd be interesting when I get the brand new spark plugs to put those in, but these are just, these are running four of one kind, three of another and one of another. You can taste the, uh, whatever it is. Cut. What are the hydrocarbons? Not the smoothest, but at least it's running. Oh, okay. It doesn't like having the secondary thing open, even the slightest. bit up and down isn't it but uh, that's actually as good as it has run for ages if the, when the weather improves I'll get some I'll get it started up take it down and get some fuel in it and take it for a little run round but I still want to try and get the carb working on both ends and not have that bit of rag on it But I've just tried this and I'll do it again for the camera. The old um, Cold War motors through the window key start. In other words, will it just start? Let's just see if it'll start on the key. Ready? No, that's a shame because it did it a minute ago. Give it one squirt. Which, which might indicate a lean condition. You can hear it coming and going, can't you? Let me try it again. Yeah, I didn't leave it quite so long that time. Okay, right, that's enough messing about. Well, at least I've managed to get it started then. And I did better with the old plugs than I did with the new ones. Okay, right -o. Thanks very much for joining me in the garage then. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then, bye. Hello. Well, I'm not very pleased. Um, I, armed with the strength that I had it running okay yesterday, 
with the newer float bowl and metering block. I thought, okay, well, I've got different plugs in it and it ran okay. So I thought, I'll try once more with the old original to the car metering block and the original to the car float chamber. And I fitted a new needle and valve. I've got two gaskets there like I had before and it, 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 it started and ran but it's making all sorts of funny noises the, it runs with the screws closed right the way down again and it started flooding so I'm just going around in circles and wasting my time so okay so I'm not very pleased ah oh, wait a minute that's why that's why it was making funny noises because that's a vacuum leak isn't it but it's still flooding why is it flooding okay anyway so I'm not not doing very well okay I'll bring you back when there's more to show I gave it a couple of taps on here and it seems to have stopped flooding and I put a plug in that hole and uh, it stopped that funny noise that you didn't hear because I didn't record it I took that damper thing off so I could get to that easier it's probably still got problems with the plugs hear it can you hear it hitting and missing? That's all the way in. That's all the way in. So where's the fuel coming from? Oh, 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 oh. Let's try taking that plug out the side. Okay, okay, that's good, I think. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, let's, I'll go and turn the ignition off and I'll be back. It stopped when the excess fuel level went from the float bowl. In other words, bear in mind I've got the two idle screws wound right in. If the level was right, it wouldn't run with the idle screws closed. It was only because the level was high that it's running without the idle circuit. It's running on fuel leakage somehow, you know, fuel's flowing over somehow. Now, I changed the um, inlet valve, so I wonder if I need to reset the float level to suit that inlet valve. It might be, mightn't it? I will take the float bowl off again and um, have a look at the fuel level okay right on I'll bring you back when there's more to show okay I'll drop the float a little bit let's see what happens that's just fired off what was in the manifold but I haven't pull the mixture screws back out again
That's still running with that screw right in. Okay, it did stop when this one went right in. One, two, three. Let's try it three flats out. It appears to be running. Uh, I'm waiting for a nice day to give it a road test. I'm kind of out of time for my little garage session today. But at least it's running with its original numbers matching parts. Because this is the numbers matching engine for this car. Okay, right. I'm a little bit happier now than I was. Um, it is running. It's not leaking. It's not flooding. And it's not making any funny noises. Oh, you can't see fuel running down. Okay, I'm going to call it good at that for today. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for clicking like, thanks for commenting, thanks for subscribing. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then, bye. Explain this to me. The um, it's running. It's quite cold. Can I take that off. Oh, it's not too bad now. If I choke it, it picks up again. That means it's not drawing fuel through correctly, doesn't it? It's having to create more vacuum to suck it through. And that's with these idle screws wound out five half flats. There should only be one and a half out. So do you think that means there's some sort of a blockage somewhere? Weird, isn't it? Definitely needs choking. So I think I need to look for why is it starving of fuel? Well, I can't stand here all day with my hand over the carb. I've gone from um, like a flooding condition to a lean condition. See, as soon as I open up, Okay, I don't know what that means, but um, I'll, I'll have to go and do some uh, digging and see what I can find out. Okay, thanks for joining me in the garage. I'll bring you back when there's more to show. Hello. I've tried yet another iteration. This is the old original float bowl. This is the later metering block. And now, 
it doesn't speed up when I do that. In other words, that's better now. Well, I think it is. Let's see what happens if I try and wind the idle screws in. They're um, one and a half out at the moment. Gone all the way in. Well, it can't run with them both all the way in, which is good because it did before. Let's um, leave that one in and back this one out. That's out one turn. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's try and one each. pretty good to be honest considering all the plugs have been fouled cleaned fouled cleaned they're all odd looks like I've got looks like I've got fuel there That's actually the best it's run for ages, that is. I'm probably getting close to running out of fuel. Oh well. It's not running smooth, is it? Smooth, smooth. Maybe like that, it's sort of a happy medium. It'll be interesting to see what happens when I get the new spark plugs, but they're probably about a week away. The fact that that's running okay might indicate that there's a problem with the metering block, the other metering block. Because it was lean with the other metering block. Mad dog alert.
don't think it's like in there. Look at them two. Naughty dog. That's why I had to cordon off that bit of the lawn because they, they would play by like that and run back and forth and churn it all up. Okay, I think that's running okay. So I can't film while they're making that racket, can I? Okay, I think that's running okay. Now before, when I did this, it used to speed up. Now, that went rich then and started slowing down. Okay. Well, that's a lot happier, isn't it, than it was. Still not perfect, but... It'll be interesting to see what happens when I hook the second side up because I don't have the modern equivalent of that to go there. But this side doesn't need an idle circuit. Right, okay. I'm going to call it good at that for now. Righto, thanks very much for watching then. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.